Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create our text. And this is going to tell us how long our spiral needs to be. So I'm going to just go out to the search engine and copy paste these lyrics. And to make it work, we need to create it where it's one just long sentence. So I'm going to edit this text and remove all the spaces so that way it's all in one consecutive sentence. I've zoomed out just so that I can stretch out my line in its entirety. So with my line in its entirety, I can see that it's 55 inches long. Now that I know how long my text is, I can determine how long my spiral needs to be. So here we're going to go ahead and create this spiral, selecting the Create Spiral or pressing the I icon, the I key on your keyboard. And we're just going to drag and drop. Now when you drag and drop it, if you select it again, you can change how big it actually is in inches. Um, let's go ahead and make this seven inches. And then if you select the spiral once more, you can change how many spirals you actually have. So I don't need these many spirals. I'm going to bring this down to, let's say, 10 turns for now. I want to know if this spiral was completely stretched out into a straight line, how long would it be? To find that out, I'm going to use the measure unit icon. So if you press M or click this little icon on the side and hover over it, you can see all the dimensions. So I know it's 6.8 by 6.6 .6, and the length of it, if it was stretched out, is 111 inches. Now I know that my text is 55 inches. So that means my text is not going to go all the way to the center because my spiral is too big. And I'll show you that. So I'm going to select both of them. And then I'm going to go to text and put on path. And here you can see I still have a lot of spiral left because my text was longer than what my actual font was. Now that might change because maybe I say, okay, well, let me go ahead and change the font to a bigger font. And let's say 20. And actually 20 fits kind of pretty good there. So as you see, if I release this text and unflow, all right, nope, remove from path, there we go. So now that I changed the size of it, you can see it's 113 inches. And if I measure just my spiral again, Remember, my spiral is 111 inches, which is why it fit kind of perfectly. So oh, here we go, 110 inches. So I'm going to change this to 105 and select both of them and hit uh, put on path. And there you go, it's spiraled out. Now, maybe you don't want this center spiral to spiral in so much. You can take your text and just hit your space bar so that it doesn't start exactly right there. And right there, I kind of like it better because I can read the if better. This is just an effect. In order to keep this effect, so let's say if I delete the spiral, my words go back to normal. So you need to change the text to be a path. So we're going to do path object to path, and that changes it to be a group of 623 objects because each letter has been isolated. So I'm going to do object ungroup and then path and union. So now it's all one single object. So now you can go ahead and save this and import it into design space. So to save, I'm just going to do File, Save As, and when you save as, it defaults to Inkscape SVG, so that's exactly what I'm going to save it as. And then I'll go ahead and take that into Design Space. So just go ahead and select Upload.
it is an SVG, so you don't need cleanup. So you just hit upload, select and add to canvas. And then now you're able to size it to whichever size you'd like. 